Hey, what's up guys? I'm about to leave on tour again. I'm headed back out with Crowder. I'm teching this time around and I'm gonna be living on that thing right there, tour bus. So since I'm gonna be spending a lot of time there the next couple of months, I thought I'd show you guys around and talk about you know, some of the etiquette, some of the things that you guys asked about in my last video. Let's go check it out. Right now I'm in the front lounge. In my other videos, you won't see a lot of footage of the bus because this is kind of like a sacred space, you know? I just want to respect people's privacy. This is kind of our home. Right now, nobody else is on the bus, so I thought I'd show you guys around, but this is a front lounge here. Um, there's a little kitchenette. There's a little dining table. Um, but this is where most people spend their time um, unless they're sleeping, you know? We've got TVs on each wall here. Um, one right there and then one on the other side so that you know you can see the TV no matter where you're sitting um, underneath the seats there's storage for water bottles and that kind of stuff there's a fridge and a cooler back here um, then the bathroom is also up front some of you guys asked about the bathroom or there was some kind of comment about the bathroom but um, basically the rule on a tour bus is that you can pee but um, no number two um, unless you have a shredder which is really rare unless you're just like you know a huge artist and you have your own bus and all that stuff but um, you know you can only pee on the bus um, if you got to go number two you either got to ask the driver to pull over or wait until you get to where you're going back behind me is the next area this is the bunk area there are 12 bunks in this bus three high so basically you have two sets of three on each side and then another two sets of three behind that. Um, my preference is a middle bunk just because I'm not having to climb up or climb on the floor to get in and out of my bunk. Um, everybody has their preference. Uh, middle passenger front is mine. Um, currently for this tour, I am driver middle back. So still not too bad. Here's the bunk. You got a curtain that you pull, you know, when you're sleeping here, but you know, just kind of cozy got lights and places to charge your stuff and little pockets. Um, I'll usually store stuff at my feet, but that's it. Once you close this thing, turn off the lights, it's pitch black and um, I sleep really well on buses. I love sleeping on a bus. It's just cold and dark. And um, you know, if you have a good driver, it's a nice smooth ride and easy to fall asleep. And most of the time you don't have to wake up too early. When you start touring at a level where you're on a bus, it's really a whole new level because the biggest difference is that you're not having to drive and so your time looks a lot different. You are, you know, you're being able to sleep at night, a full night's rest, and then when you wake up, you're where you need to be rather than, you know, sleep as much as you can and then drive to the next town or drive after you play. Um, it really is a massive game changer and, you know, I still do stuff where I tour in vans or where you're driving yourself um, as well, but especially as I've gotten older, um, traveling in a bus, it makes it so much easier, so much nicer. You get more time to hang out with everybody. Um, you kind of have your own personal space. You've got your own bunk. Um, there's just so many things that are great about it, just on the practical side. I mean, yes, touring on a bus is cool and it, you know, there's, there's that whole part of it, um, but really just from like a practical side it just makes things so much easier um you can feel well rested for the show you can um you know it just helps you do what you need to do more easily right now i'm sitting in the back lounge depending on the bus and how it's set up um, the back area will be different this is more of another lounge area it's small there's you know two more tvs back here i'm really not sure where that phone goes to or how it works or anything about it. That's kind of weird. Sometimes, um, again, depending on the setup of the bus, this might be, um, there might be a bed back here or this might change into a bed. I think that's actually maybe how most of them are. Um, and that might be, you know, maybe where um, like the star or the lead singer or whoever, they sleep in the back. This tour, we actually have two buses. Um, this is more of a crew bus and then we have the band bus. And on the band bus, it's actually a little different um, because it has, you know, same, similar setup in the front where it's the lounge and the kitchen bathroom. Um, but instead of 12 bunks, it has six bunks. And then, you know, pretty much the back half of the bus is, um, 
you know, I think they call them star coaches, but it's basically like it's a more of a full size bed and there's another um, bathroom shower kind of situation, walk in closet kind of thing. Just a lot more space um, for somebody to have, you know, their their own space back there. But um, most of the time I've been on buses, it's been like this, where it's just a back lounge and this kind of turns into a bed if you need it. Obviously the thing about being on a bus, living on a bus is just being conscious of those around you. Um, you know, you wanna be respectful of people's spaces, um, of, you know, of the people around you, making sure that you're cleaning up after yourself and just being aware. Um, so much of being a full-time musician and so much of touring and all of that is just um, being good to those who are around you and treating people well. Um, you know, the small amount of time that you get to play music, that's something that everybody enjoys, but it's really all of that other time that, um, you know, it's just the majority of what you're doing. So you want to make sure that you're around people who are good folks, who are uh, conscious of those around you, uh, around them you're conscious around of, of those around you and you know just trying to be a good hang and take care of each other while you're out here i just got done editing this video i'm back at home for a couple days and i'm flying out tonight to denver uh, i think i'll be out 12 more days this time around um back on the bus back on tour with crowder teching but i just want to give you guys a quick update Obviously, because I'm out, um, I'm not going to be doing as many videos. Uh, you've probably noticed that I haven't been uploading as much lately. So part of that is just because I'm out working. I don't have a laptop to edit while I'm on the road. So really, the only time I have to edit videos is when I get home and, and have the time to do that um, outside of you know seeing family and doing stuff I need to here at home. But part of the thing when I started this YouTube channel two years ago was to give you a real life look at what it's like to be a working musician, to give you a perspective of someone who's actually out working um, playing shows touring all of that um, you know when it comes to gear or tour life or whatever just kind of giving you that perspective of someone who's out doing it um, and the downside of that is that I can't make videos all the time especially when I'm busy touring um, which I'm super thankful for now obviously the last couple of years I haven't been doing that as much and so making videos every week has been um, a lot easier but as I'm getting busier as I'm touring um, it's tough to find the time to make videos that being being said, I'm going to do everything that I can to upload as many videos as I can. Um, I really enjoy it. It's been a great creative outlet for me the last couple of years. So um, all this to say that, you know, be on the lookout for future videos. I'm still making videos. It's just that I can't always edit them and upload them um, as easily as I have been in the past. Um, to make sure that you don't miss any videos, hit the bell um, you know, for notifications and all that, you guys know how YouTube works, but, um, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Um, that'll make sure that you see my videos as well and helps the channel, um, helps other people see videos as the algorithm, you know, shows me favor for you guys watching the videos and all that weirdness that is YouTube and social media. Anyways, uh, I know that's a lot. This is not really how I typically end my videos, but I at least wanted to mention some of those things. Thank you guys for watching as always. And until next time, I'll see you out there.